there we go guys next game and what are we gonna do here holy shit we have two potential threats um Nobody's oh. just right? Let me inhabit you. Um a good option here. Or less and kind of pop here two demons. That's kind of not the best, but Oh we'll win it. That's good. a poor player who buying absolutely nothing nice all right so what are we gonna do we could go prisoners we could go hunter harless we could go mate Could go Ronnie's. Alright. Ronnie's? Hmm. Two players are out of order here. Yeah, you okay, so six players done. That will be a much quicker game. Sir Tusk is super strong here. Who's not carrying weight? Why they are not playing here? It's ah, uh, don't like that. There is no horn sharper than mine. All right, um, two two stores in. That's good. We sold the co-op. That's kind of a pity. But we have shamans. We have a two store hardless unit, so we might go with hunter hardless. Are we uncontested on it? Or all right. Ready to help. Go on to Hardless then. Okay, guys, if you play a Hunter Hardless threat, right? It's very important that you got a good early game threat. A strong early game, right? You don't want to lose a lot of HP for early game. Because the plan with level Hunter Hardless, I know the most of you already know, but for uh, the guys who are new to the game, right? When you go for level hunter hardless threat, which in my opinion is one of the strongest threats ever. Um, you want to have a good early game and go level 10 as quick as possible. And on level 10, you roll for the high tier units like Draw Warlord, like Medusa, like Tidehunter, like Mirana, like Wraith King, of course. And that's the thing. You want to roll for barricades if you don't hit. Uh, don't get me wrong, but we nearly never hit it if you need it. Uh, doesn't matter. You just need a good tank here. You need good tanks up front that your units doesn't get killed, right? And that's all you want. Protect the corner here with the damage dealers, right? So for early game, you don't especially go for Hunter Harless. You just go for whatever you get and is strong. For example, we play the shamans here. The shamans give an extra unit. Um, we have two two stars, which is really strong at round five. So, yeah, we just go for that, right? All it matters is winning rounds right now, not losing too much HP. Because the plan, 
I, I, I repeat it, right? The plan is going level 10 and roll there for high tier units. So that means uh, that more HP you have on level 10, the better it is, right? Because you, that HP gives you the time to roll for the high tier unit. That's the magical thing on it. All right. And now we already sacrificed the shamans. Bring in the two store. Bring in heartless. Should work. Like All right. Mm, maybe that was the wrong choice to be honest. Play number one here with shamans. Shaman Savage, can we beat that? No. Two star toss. Savage, Shamans, we do. Forget it. Okay, so we had some Five damage, not good. Huh. What can I do to help? So Shaman's in again. Definitely time to play the shamans like that. All right. Even if we wasted a little bit of gold with the Wangful Spirit two star, right? She did a great job in the early game. She protected the most of our HP. Now it's time for the shamans because we hit a two star nature profit, right? It's time for shamans and we switch it. Make your team as strong as possible. That's the thing, right? It's so much more difficult when just six players are playing the game. So sad. All right, the Corp is a problem here. He's a big, huge damage dealer. But she's already down, so... Look how close it is. Nature Prophet is doing it. That's good. See all the summon units? Very strong. You're still 92 HP, that's good. Now we go on with level. We bring in Heartless as well. Pretty, pretty strong. We didn't hit a draw ranger. Draw ranger is kind of a key unit here. We definitely want her. Yes, she is. Give me a second. Um, she is heartless and hunter, so very important for us. Um, item wise, you want to go for the barricades. If you hit the barricades, your hunters are Smart choice. double as good as without. Double as good. Barricades are so strong. They are absolutely OP in my opinion. So, whenever you can, you go for barricades when you play Hunter Harvest, right? The there we go. Positioning-wise, you just want to protect your backliners with the frontliners, right? That's all you want to do. That's the, the reason why the barricades are so strong as well, right? There are too many two stars and poisoners, so we're losing, but we're protecting HP, that's okay. Are we losing? Get a demon that did a good job here. Still alive, Nature Prophet's still alive. The Shaman saves us here. Pretty good. Alright. And you see now, we could already play the hunters, right? Free hunters, but on one star, it's not enough. Um, for Underlords, you want to go with Anfrel and Essex. You could go aggressive tank, but Anfrel and Essex is uh, way the strongest option here. By far the strongest option. Um, Luna, good. Do great job here. It's okay. Let's go level. 
Mm. We will bring in the trolls as well, that's for sure. Alright. So still, we could already play the hunters, right? But here in early game, the hunters, the synergy of hunters is not that important. Important is to have the strongest possible team on the pitch. In your opinion, right? To protect HP, you don't want to lose too much rounds in early game. You want to make, you want to um, produce a gap between the board and your HP. And that brings you to that point. You know you can go level up. So we push here. Um, sell him. You know you can go level up, bring in trolls, for example, here. That makes you stronger and the Shadow Shaman is a really good early game unit, right? So that makes you stronger. The units are faster because of the of the trolls. Makes you stronger and it protects your HP better. So that's all you have to think about it right now. And you take all you take the trolls, two trolls in it. Um we got two heartless already. And now we build the hunter heartless threat for late, right? So we go level up. You see we have level six, five, six, five, four. It's disconnected as well. Are you kidding? So we're in good position right now. I don't buy the life stealer here. Um, I, I do actually. We can play four heartless like that, but I won't play him actually because I got asked a lot why you don't play life stealer in that strat. In my opinion, he costs free gold, right? So it's too expensive for me. I want to go with the low tier units. Now we hit an early two star. Shadow Shaman, and that is huge. That is really huge. That makes us very, very strong now. So we are kind of okay now against number one. We will win this fight with two star Shaman, with far less trolls. And the damage dealers in the back line here, you see that? Battle Rider, Anasix, Shadow Demon. They are still alive, so we will win this round. And now we produce a gap in hp we produce a gap in economy and we produce a gap in the levels because we will push level up now uh we take the mask that's for sure bring him in actually everything is going according to plan have him on two star already damn it <laughs> that's of course right when i show you that strat and how i play it of course we would have him easily on two star it happens guys that happens but it's not a big problem i don't want to go for him i don't want to pay nine gold for him on two star and sell him later on again because in a final build we go with uh punch as a as a front row tank we go with draw ranger as a backliner with damage as a damage dealer we go with nature prophet she's one of the best heartless units ever and we go for um wankful not wankful spirit how is he called um is it wankful spirit yeah it is actually it is and that gives us that alliance with uh fallen's free fallen's as well so you just pick the units you got, right? At that point, you just can relax, actually. You can sit down, you have a gap. You know you're good in economy with the winning streak and all that stuff. You know you know you have the backliners protected, so you're doing good, actually. Of course, the assassins are a problem. Right? Because of the Shadow Shaman 2 star, we can beat them. If you don't hit a Shadow Shaman early on, we have a problem against assassin players, right? 
to help there you we are looking for tide hunter in late game against the assassin players right we need the stuns against the assassins players to to protect um good stun and give that that buys our backliners time good watch two star i really like that and just go level up as quick as possible remember we just want to go as quick as possible on level 10 right that's our goal protect the hp yes we do that take the hunters you can and go level 10 it's not a problem we don't hit the draw range in two store we do need her in two store it's far it's by far enough to have her on one star if you hit the low tier unit the high tier units later on in low in a late game we will see that and for the Essex produced the slark for us that's not the best option but we will lose that fight maybe against the poisoners yes we do that's not that bad we don't hit get hit by 11 or 12 damage right so it's not too bad and just to remind you right don't hesitate and say oh no he beats us He's a poisoner player. He's so really strong now. He's better. If you hit high tier units like we do right now, that isn't the problem anymore. That problem will be solved. Um, don't play it now. He's gone again. Alright, level up. All right. You see the poisoners are doing good because they break through our front line with Spectre. That's the reason why you go for Spectre when you see a Hunter Heartless player, right? You always want to go with Spectre. And another round we hit damage, but not too much. That's okay. Now we place for Heartless units. Hmm. Not too good, but okay. We place mask here. We give him that one. It's here. All right. That's still okay. Still okay like this. Protect him a little bit. Bring that one here should be okay like this positioning wise all that matters protect your backliners right protect your damage dealer that's all you want assassins again can we see death profit with an old yes we do not too good our backliner get attacked okay we were lucky here can you see whenever somebody breaks through your front line you are in trouble but we were lucky, and then Frodo Nassix is, is just simply so strong, right? Alright. Don't push level now, right? Don't push it. We are on 75 HP, that's by far enough. We are on the best threat in the game. Um, we have enough HP to go level 10, so don't waste the, the money here and go for level. Hmm. You could push to 9 actually here and sell the Wind Ranger, go for 15 gold. But we don't do it. <laughs> I have a good feeling about this. <clears throat> the Mage Player, Crystal Roller, is pretty good. That's a good, good uh, recipe to attack hunters in the corner, you see? With that dragon steer. Three star down, that's good. And that is 11 damage, right? And now that is the thing shouldn't happen, right? You don't want to lose that much HP. And now, of course, it is on opponent orange sheet. Do you hit him again and again and again, or do you not? All that things, right? We all know that. But yeah, we're still in good, good position, actually. 
take the units we want and we go and you could push level here actually yes we do that push the level bring in that one bring in the three hunters sacrifice one of the shamans sacrifice one of the tanks but go for three hunters that's worth it in my opinion here and there we go you see our advantage in level is so big now it's very good we go down to 20 gold right we sacrifice one gold here to get the level but we were back on 30 gold now and we got the extra bonus gold from a win so it's easy and now you see level 9 and we hit the monster units now we are prepared to be unbeatable troll warlord in one of the main units in the whole strat um, um we will do good now go for mirana we go for wraith king you see now we have the advantage right we have enough hp we have the highest hp from all the players we have the highest level from all the players and now we can bring in we can roll for the high tier units that buys is the time to go level 10 right we have enough hp enough gold enough uh units on two store to go on level to beat them and go on level and that makes us unbeatable now the only problem in my opinion is a free store specter can beat us maybe um cadence blade needed Roll for Cadence Blade. Didn't hit it. Um, Dagon. Okay. Additional damage is okay. Holy shit, you see that? We already got our additional units here. Um, X9 should work. Alright. Chance. that's the good part on the game right when if you are here you can kind of lay down and uh, just watch your opponent what are they doing do they hit the good stuff or not now it's all on rng right do we hit a two-star mirana do we hit a two-star death prophet quickly and if you do on that point you know you will win the game there is no doubt maybe the mage player would go for six mages he doesn't so these three stars are a problem yes so we are looking for cadence blade cadence blade will solve that problem because we are not on the barricade right imagine we are on the barricades as well that would make us way stronger now we have him in as well so we take a stunner in now all you want right you have big damage dealers here in the back line right that's what you got so all you want to do now is protect them so protecting the backliner you can do that two ways you can build big walls with barricades you can build big walls with three star punch or two star punch or whatever or you can bring in stunts right the stunts buy us the time to uh produce great damage with our damage dealers in the back line and if you hit that you're good do you see that that one tide hunter stunned his team and that gave us the time, that gave our backline the time to produce the damage we want. And that's the good thing on it. It's really not that difficult to play. 
now we have 40 gold we go level 10 the age of and bring in what bring in the it, wraith it? king of course yep definitely all right so now you see why i don't play the life stealer because i want to go with vengeful spirit with f prophet and with um what's the third fall uh wraith king and that produces us three fallens as well there we go Actually, I replace him already for the Fallen. See that? Tidehunter. Good. And now, because we have enough HP, right? Now we can roll for good stuff like that. And if we hit that, I mean... Yeah. It's so strong, right? And we are not on a Dusa yet. We are not on Cadence... Uh, not on Cadence Blade. We are not on the Barricades. And we are still... On winning condition, I think. There we go, dragons. Look on the stun. We need the stun. Oh, that stun was... That stun was not happening. Why not? But the two-star wave king is so strong now. Produces all the demons. Yeah, it's game over already. Oh my gosh, Enfril dragon. Oh. The only problem we have now is that guy here, right? And now you can produce scaled. We need scale against the three mages, right? So we need Dusa in. Dusa will replace Wind Ranger. Need Cadence Blade. Doesn't hit. Okay. You go for Shiva's Guard. Against mages, good as well. Shit. And we oh my and we roll again. No Dusa so far. That's such. We could play dragons as well here in that threat, right? And you see the Miranas? We would be eight out of nine on Mirana, I guess, if we would buy her. If we buy her. Alright. Hit him again. I don't will work good this time. Come on. Good stun. And you see, as soon as the units are stunned, they get killed. Because our damage is so huge from the backlines. From the backliners. And that is the reason why the stun is so effective with the hunters, right? Who killed the troll warlord? Yep, we got him. Alright. Hit him again. It's against him, right? And now you see, we are in 64, right? We can lose, afford to lose a few rounds. Now we got even stronger with with the Dusa, right? So, he's not beating us anymore. <laughs> Simply, he's not. Unable to do that. We have so much time. And that's the reason why it's so important to go on high... We'll Lev, uh, high HP in that in that position, right? We have enough time to roll for the high tier units now. Even if we lose one or two or three rounds now, we're still in the game. We're still able to get a two-star to a warlord in or a two-star Dusa in and win the game, right? But I guess we are already strong enough. Are we? Oh no, we're not. Oh, Death Prophet. Got killed. Holy shit, that was close. You see, 4 damage. He's on 4 HP. That's okay. We still have time. Our our peaks are hitting if we hit a 2-star Troll Warlord. Or if we hit a 2-star do so. Um, could go with him. No, we... But, ooh, dragons. But of course, right? It is RNG again. There we go. 
is RNG, it is positioning. There we go. We'll get a Troll Warlord 2 star next round, and that is winning condition. Come on, stun. Good stun. Two frontliners are dead. From his team is nearly done now. Troll Warlord still alive. And Frel, and Frel is not good. So he beats us again. 11 damage, that's okay. Now we hit the Troll Warlord on 2 star. And the damage will explode here. We can position, reposition a little bit, right? We're not yeah, directly in focus from him. Something like that, and now it should be okay. Now. Warlord still alive, look on the damage. It's GG. And that is how you play level hh it's so simple it's so easy and it's so strong and you saw the key factor is to go on high level on level 10 with high hp that buys you the time to roll and you saw right we lost against him one round before and at the moment we hit pro warlord two star we repositioned easy gameplay so that's HH, level HH. It went pretty good. We didn't hit... Uh, imagine, guys, right? We didn't hit the barricades, which doubles the power of Hunter Heartless. We would be double that strong. Double. We didn't hit the... The Cadence Blade was not necessary here for late game, but when you play against the free star player, go for Cadence Blade. Uh, we didn't hit that neither. We were not on a two-star uh, tide hunter. We were not on a two-star Dusa. We were on a two-star Wraith King. That was really good. Two-star Wraith King, two-star Troll Warlord, and it was already enough. So, go for a good early game strat. Don't lose too much HP. Go for Hunter and Hardless. Go level 10. Go for Tide Hunter as the stunner, right? Buys you time. Don't forget that. Bring in high tier units like Troll Warlord, Wraith King, Dusa, Mirana, Tidehunter, and you will win the game. 